I would like to start my statement by picking up from the second last sentence of my last social media post. It's a statement from our national anthem. May we dwell in unity, peace, and liberty. Unity is what these 47 presidents of county student associations representing 100,000 plus young people from our TVETs, colleges and universities have demonstrated today by coming together. What is unique about these groups is that they have created systems and structures that combine national and county governments all the way from having ward reps, constituent, constituency reps, cabinet secretaries and these presidents. They are challenging themselves to understand how leadership and governance works because in the next few years, they are the next MPs, the next CEOs, the next founders of organizations. Each one of these young people has put behind their own individual ambitions and desires to combat challenges facing their counties, such as quality education, arts, sports and talent promotion, mentorship and the like. They are organized and have come together with one accord, In Common Bond United. <coughs> I know this because I have interacted and worked with some of you for the past year or so, and I'm very proud of your achievements thus far. Peace is something that has been far from us in recent days. It is something that we are praying for and leading the front in attaining as young people. This is why we stand against the particular protests that have shown no leadership from young people, but rather a push from dark forces to create chaos in a country that we so love. Looted businesses and many days of, of operation lost for profit-making organizations and community-oriented companies are so disheartening. One of the ways out of poverty is entrepreneurship and business, something we're encouraging our young people to engage in and something we have to strongly safeguard. I mean, how else will plenty be found within our borders? Liberty is our expression of freedom. We have freely used our voices and platforms to be a part of current affairs. I say we because I stand before you today, not just as the president's daughter, but as one of you, a young Kenyan passionate about our country's future. I hear your voices, I understand your concerns. The challenges we face as a generation are real and pressing. From unemployment to the rising cost of living, we are all feeling the impact of our current economic situation. I want you to know that your engagement in our nation's affairs is not just welcome, but essential. They all contribute to the vibrant democracy we are building together. At the same time, I urge us all to consider the complexities of governance. Solutions that seem simple often have far-reaching consequences we might not immediately see. This doesn't mean we should stop pushing for change, but that we should approach these issues with nuance and openness to dialogue. As I continue to use my platforms to support all young people, I would like us to engage constructively. Let's criticize when necessary, but also propose solutions. Let's be the generation that's not known not just for its passion, but for its innovation in governance and civic participation. I don't have all the answers, and I won't pretend to, but I'm here to listen, to learn, and to work alongside each of you for a Kenya that reflects our hopes and dreams. Our shared love for Kenya is what will indeed move us forward. There are many ways to engage with young people. This is something I've been doing for over the past two years in my own ways and formats. And the government is putting together the multi-sectoral forum to formalize uh, that. But each one of us can engage with young people. The Ministry of Youth, for example, already engages with young people. I throw a question back to you. Why aren't we already acknowledging those who are working with the young people, the various organizations, platforms such as uh, the county associations? They've been working in the back end. Yes. And now is when things are coming to the front, that there are various people who've been pushing for young people. So this is not something new, and it's not a current phenomenon, but it's something that has already been happening. What we are saying as young people is we won't allow anybody to use our name to misalign us and to put us away from the right support that we need. Because for us to flourish as young people, we need support of the private sector, the public sector, the government. And that is why we have to stand behind our current government. We are the county presidents of the comrades. We, the county president of the comrades, have seen our members being dubbed as faceless, tribeless, and fearless, but they are equally not leaderless, reckless, and structureless. That being said, we have agreed on the following. 
we have accepted the well and welcomed the national dialogue forum proposed by His Excellency the President. We appreciate our President for taking the issues of the comrades with such genuine gravity and seriousness. And for that reason, we accept dialogue and remain available to engage over long term. We are privileged to have the opportunity to interact, to interrogate and discuss for the matters of students, education, and foster a cultural interchange between us, between any uh, stakeholder in the education sector, and above all, to, give, to create a generation that is educated and above all, give a public civic education to all the generation. What we are saying as young people is we won't allow anybody to use our name to misalign us and to put us away from the right support that we need. Because for us to flourish as young people, we need support of the private sector, the public sector, the government. And that is why we have to stand behind our current government.